we, we do expect actually to, st to start a fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. Hi everyone, JJ here. Welcome back. Well, has Elon Musk made a huge mistake? That's the story for today. You can see the headline here. We're going to get into this article from Futurism. Elon Musk may have made a huge mistake on full self-driving that it's too late to correct. Is it getting too late if he has made this mistake without damaging the company? Anyway, Tesla and indeed his reputation on innovation and success now the article starts off here pointing out that Waymo is now providing over 150,000 autonomous rides every week. Tesla still has a long way to go until its controversial full self-driving software is ready for the EV maker's competing robo-taxi service. And as you can see here on X, Elon's own platform, it's Waymo here saying Waymo One is now providing over 150,000 paid trips and driving over 1 million fully autonomous miles every week. Tesla makes a big deal about how many supervised miles that Tesla does every week. But Waymo is actually having this many autonomous miles every week now. The future is here, it says. It's growing and it's taking riders safely to their destinations every day. And this is from October 30, just days ago. And when they say Tesla's full self-driving supervised software is controversial, they're pointing to this. The godfather of AI says Elon Musk is lying about self-driving Teslas. This is Jan LeCun, and he says, I don't hate Elon Musk, I hate his lies. <laughs> You're not alone there. That's the same way that I feel, really. One of the pioneers of artificial intelligence is throwing major shade on Elon Musk's years of broken promises about self-driving Teslas. We'll have over a million Tesla cars on the road with full self-driving hardware, feature complete, uh, at a reliability level that we would consider uh, that no one needs to pay attention. Meaning you could go to sleep in your, from our standpoint, if you fast forward a year, a little, maybe a year, maybe a year and three months, uh, at, but next year for sure, we will have over a million robo-taxis on the road. Now, Jan, the so-called godfather of AI, a few different people have called that in different articles, including Jeffrey Hinton, who quit Google famously to talk about the dangers of AI. But Jan, who currently serves as Meta's AI Tsar, has to be said a competitor of Tesla in some areas, so you have to take that into account accused the billionaire of lying again and again about when fully automated Teslas would arrive. I've kept lying to you again and again about Tesla's full self-driving capabilities for the last eight years, the AI aficionado wrote, but you should believe everything I say about politics and everything else. Essentially, November or December of this year, we should be able to go from, yeah, all the way from a parking lot in California to a parking lot in New York, no controls touched at any point during the entire journey. Of course, Elon getting fully into politics. We're just really close to the US election now. It may have been passed, depending on when you're seeing this. So Elon going all in on Trump. Has this got anything to do with him going all in on Trump? Does he see problem coming if the administration stays the way it is, the Biden and then Harris administration? There's a lot of probes and investigations, which this article does get into. If he loses, I'm fucked. <laughs> it does seem that way. You can't just be like, you can't yeah. just be like, yo, I, yeah, I'm like, how, how long do you think my prison sentence is going to be? Do you think? <laughs> Back to the main article, just this week a Tesla driver plowed through a deer without even a hint of slowing down with the $8,000 add-on software turned on and another smashed into someone else's car when its owner employed its summon feature, which has just been released. They made a big deal about ass actually summon software. This incident or accident was posted on X by Paul S., hit the deer with my Tesla. FSD didn't stop even after hitting the deer on full speed. Huge surprise after getting a dozen of false stops every day. Experiencing worst side of Tesla service now. Can't even get an estimate for insurance. Nearest appointments only in January. You can see the, the photo there of the front of the Tesla where the deer hit. 
And it was pretty shocking that it didn't even slow down. Imagine if it had been a child, for instance, in the middle of the road. He did post the video on X. Video is cut right before sensitive things appear on screen. Safe to watch. I'm going to play that video for you now. And this is the other incident. Woman annoyed when Tesla with no driver suddenly smashes into her car. Somebody summoning the vehicle to them and obviously it didn't go so well. So these things seem far from ready to be a robo taxi to drive themselves. As I said, the deer in the middle of the road, that could have been anything going at full speed. It did not even slow down for that deer. Now, if you're getting value out of this episode so far, I'd really appreciate it. If you remember to hit that like button to help the algorithm to spread it to more people. And if you're new here and you're enjoying this, do remember to subscribe to get more of this kind of content in the future. Now, it says those flaws have caught and continue to catch the attention of regulators. Earlier this month, that's October, it's now November. As I record this, Tesla became the subject of yet another investigation by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The NHTSA has opened a formal investigation into Tesla's autopilot assisted driving software according to a posting on its website. An inflection point that could signal the introduction of self-driving regulations. This new probe hones in on one of Tesla's most eyebrow-raising decision when it comes to its driver assistance package. The insistence on exclusively relying on camera sensors instead of LiDAR and radar like its competitors, which CEO Elon Musk has long derided as a crutch. And this is from The Verge here, this, this headline, Elon Musk still doesn't think LiDAR is necessary for full driverless cars. In my view, it's a crutch, he said. And this is some detail from that article from February the 8th, 2018. It is Elon Musk is not a fan of LiDAR, the laser sensor that most tech and car companies see as an essential component for self-driving cars. In an earnings call on Wednesday, Musk reiterated his dislike of LiDAR and defended Tesla's strategy of achieving full autonomy using only cameras, radar and ultrasonic sensors. Now they've cut down to just cameras and AI together. Elon said that it was too expensive for the other components that, that other competitors use. He wants to get it down to the bare essentials so they can sell cars at a reasonable price. We expect the cost to be below $30,000. But will the technology actually work? Will they solve autonomy, as Elon says, or will it be impossible to do properly? In my view, Elon said it's a crutch that will drive companies to a local maximum that they will find very hard to get out of. He added, perhaps I am wrong and I will look like a fool, but I am quite certain that I am not. Now, later in 2022, the company went all in on cameras, ditching ultrasonic sensors in its vehicles altogether, a decision that could prove to be a major mistake as it struggles to catch up with its competition and has now promised robust self-driving capabilities to owners who may lack the necessary sensor hardware. This headline said at the time, Tesla is now removing ultrasonic sensors in move to vision only. Tesla already removed radar and is relying on cameras for its advanced driver assist systems, unlike most rival automakers. And another headline here from October 2022, Tesla bet on pure vision for self-driving. That's why it's in hot water. Tesla was recently hit with a new probe prompted by an incident when a Tesla on autopilot killed a pedestrian in low visibility. And these low visibility conditions that have become a problem for Tesla, various low visibility issues that the cameras can't seem to handle by themselves cameras don't do a great job of depth perception so perhaps having the extra safety net of radar may have been a good idea for now so is this going to prove to be the mistake the big mistake that Elon's made to go just with cameras when other things are needed that he's talking about camera and AI together even in these low visibility conditions with rain with fog with sun glare with dust 
Now the NHTSA's investigation, which could potentially lead to a recall down the road, involves a whopping 2.4 million Tesla vehicles with FSD equipped and references four collisions, one of which proved fatal last year. The timing of the probe couldn't be worse with Tesla unveiling its CyberCab RoboTaxi design, a two-seater autonomous ride-hailing vehicle earlier this month. Now, if you haven't seen that, I've covered that event in two videos so far where Elon did talk big again, made some big predictions about CyberCAD and robots as well. So go and see those if you haven't already. We expect to be in production with the, the CyberCab, which is really um, hi highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, but, in, in, in 2026, before okay. 2027, let me put it that way. I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. I'll put links to those in the description if you haven't seen those already. Now the NHTSA noted in its preliminary evaluation that reduced roadway visibility conditions like sun glare, fog or airborne dust could greatly diminish Tesla's vehicle's ability to detect and respond appropriately while FSD is turned on. Now I've got some video from a Tesla customer who's using FSD in conditions that's just in LA but sometimes if you're in the hills, if you're in the mountains you can get fog and lots of sun glare of course and LA's got some good conditions, some good weather conditions so there are a lot of places that aren't like that and there are these videos show the problems that FSD FSD supervised as having that it seems to be not near robo taxi level yet despite what Elon says that it's nearly ready all right so I did get a message for me to take over full self-driving take over immediately all right I'm taking over I'm following the instructions the car came to a complete almost complete stop it probably would have completely stopped if I would have not taken over. So I can I can tell you, it's really hard for me to see. I'm, I'm not going to go any further. It's 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 too too risky. Not necessary. I don't need to go up in these mountains. But it was doing very well, um, as you could see. But we 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 challenged it, right? We challenged it, and that's what testing full self driving is all about. 13 mile an hour. All right, I'm getting the red. Take over immediately. Take over immediately. Take over immediately. Flashers are on, and this car behind me is pissed off. I'm just gonna pull over right here. So I did get the red screen of death right then, and I had to take over. I believe it's because of the sun shining into the cameras again. That's extremely disappointing. 12.5.4 is engaged. Now a separate report by the regulator found that Tesla did not adequately ensure that drivers maintain their attention while using the feature and were not sufficiently engaged in the driving task. And this headline here, Tesla's autopilot and FSD linked to hundreds of crashes, many fatal, and this is from April 26th this year. Federal regulators released a report this week in which they found that Tesla's controversial driver assistance software was linked to hundreds of injuries and dozens of deaths. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration found that those making use of the EV makers misleadingly called full self-driving software were lulled into a false sense of security and were not sufficiently engaged in the driving task. In short, the report found the Elon Musk-led company's tech did not adequately ensure that drivers maintained their attention, a damning indictment that builds on a wealth of data suggesting Tesla's experimental software isn't just flawed but potentially dangerous to use. Other industry experts have similarly suggested that relying entirely on camera sensors could lead to issues. Weather conditions can impact the camera's ability to see things, as we've seen, and I think the regulatory environment will certainly weigh in on this. Global Data Vice President Jeff Schuster told Reuters last week, 
And here's the headline from Reuters. US probes Tesla's full self-driving software in 2.4 million cars after fatal crash. The NHTSA opens inquiry after four reports of crashes where FSD used. First step in a potential recall. Tesla's camera-only approach has attracted some criticism. It sure has. Will it work as FSD? Robotaxi's just around the corner. Elon says, is that going to happen? Or has he made a huge mistake here in going all in on cameras and AI to help there? Now the article continues, that could be one of the major roadblocks in what I would call a near-term launch of this technology and these products, he added, referring to Tesla's plans to launch a robo-taxi service, again, which Elon talked about at the We Robot event, that it's just around the corner, that his fans love that. We, we do expect actually to, st to start a fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. It's true that we've seen Tesla drivers having serious trouble with their vehicles with FSD turned on in inclement weather. In a recent video by the YouTube channel Out of Spec Videos, the software was easily confused in a rainstorm. It's pretty light rain, nothing too big, but we have seen the fog incidents and this sun glare and in rain as well. It seems that it's quite far from being a robo-taxi just yet. Will it ramp up exponentially? We'll have to see what happens, but it's not not looking so great for robo taxi service in the near future. Now I've talked about this in videos before, what Elon Musk said about full self-driving, about solving autonomy, that it's just around the corner. For almost a decade now, Musk has promised that cars that can fully drive themselves are right around the corner. Like a Model S and Model X at this point uh, can drive autonomously with greater safety than a person right now. But despite the company heavily investing in supercomputer infrastructure to train AIs on footage recorded by Tesla cameras, the software is still far from where it needs to be. Did Musk take the wrong turn by relying entirely on cameras? That's the question. As always, the car maker still has a lot to prove. In many ways, a direct consequence of its over-promising and under-delivering leader. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that Elon Musk has made a big mistake, a huge mistake here by going all in on cameras only? Well, cameras only and now AI. They have pivoted recently to saying that AI and cameras will work together, but will it solve these problems, these issues that keep coming up again and again with fog and sun glare and dust on the cameras? How will AI solve that? What do you think? Do you think it can be solved this way? Do you think that robo-taxis are just around the corner? Do you think that they'll have to use different technology that Elon will have to admit his mistake and they will have to use more expensive technology, more technology to solve this and it will take take longer what do you think let me know in the comments now i'd like to tell you that i do have another channel another pod called stock chat show i've just changed the name to that it is about other companies other stocks just not about elon and tesla so if you're interested in that a more variety i'll put a link in the show notes in the description to that and see you over there now, if you're watching this on YouTube, on screen, I'm going to leave a link to one of my previous videos about FSD and its issues. Go and see that now if you want to. If you haven't seen that already, I'll put links in the pod description as well for those watching or listening elsewhere. And thanks to everybody for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one.